Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another flip through. I hope y'all are doing well. Today we're going to flip through some of April. Yes, this is my March April altered composition book. I increased the spine to one and a half inches and it fits two signatures in it. So it is a creative journal, kind of like in the junk journal style, if you will. So let's get started. I think I left off on the sixth last time. This is the fifth. Okay. This is where we stopped off. A picture of my beautiful husband. Okay. Let's see if I can sit down for this video. Okay. <laughs> All right. This page, another page um, dedicated to my dear friend, Joey. Joey DeFee, I will leave her link below. She did these beautiful two-tier pockets. I love them. They're so fun to make. And yeah, so this page is dedicated to her. Over here I wrote the all the materials you need to to make this pocket. And it's a yeah, it's a two-tier pocket. So along with the two-tier pocket, I made two tags. All right. Just out of this is Tim Holtz ephemera this is a collage in the background on uh, beige cardstock or off-white cardstock so another beautiful day okay so I caught Laura's live love her live she's the Jersey crafter and I'll leave all the links below always remember to check my links below I want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to find other fabulous channels um, okay so yeah, I, I guess back this time I was gonna work on some more journal pages, but I didn't. Okay, and then that goes in there. These are super fun to make. Then this is just, I had two pieces of ripped paper, so I put them together, <laughs> overlapped them to make a tag, and then just wrote on the one side of it, so. Oh gosh, yeah. Now I remember he, my husband had attempted to fix the brand new back door, right? Because I don't know if you remember, but we had had a brand new door put in and uh, installed is the proper word. And the, it was, oh, I guess open one day or not open, but people were going in and out of the door and it was super duper windy and the wind caught it and it like almost ripped it off his hinges, okay? So my husband had spent days going back and forth. I, it was a nightmare. Okay, anyway, anyway. So I was ranting about that. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, honestly, it should have been the contractor should have been here fixing it. Not my husband. So why isn't this going in here now? Okay. All right, there's a little pocket. That was way too long for that. All right. This was so much fun. Check out Joey. She has fabulous videos. She's so inspiring. I love watching her videos. Okay. Now on this page here, a lot of, you've seen a lot of these pages, but I haven't like, this is more of like the story time version of it, you know, when I do my flip throughs. So these mandalas that I did, um, they were inspired by Christy Biddleston. I will leave her link below as well. And they were a lot of fun to do. Let me think. I I am so silly. Can I just tell you, all right? As I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, gee, I wonder what I used. Either paint or Posca or whatever. I used acrylic paint. But hello, I could have easily used Posca pens. I don't do mandalas. If you want to know how to do mandalas, head over to Christy Biddleston's um, YouTube channel. She's the pro, okay? I was just having fun here. And then this is a, just a tag I made out of scraps that I had on my desk. And then look what I did. I wrote my journaling upside down. So it's like, I don't know. Anyway, this, oh, let's cut that off. If I can find my scissors. Um, okay, sorry. This is a piece of leftover um, cardstock actually this side that I did smush paper on and it didn't come out the way it was supposed to come out so I just used it as a scrap for my journaling and didn't feel like going for a walk talk to grandma so it must have been a Monday yep it was a Monday okay multiple trips to oh gosh yeah this morning I mean if I leave this here long enough you'll be able to read it but oh my gosh what a morning we had can I just tell you okay my husband was still working on the back door then as he's working on the back door, my dog barfs all over the area rug. That's always fun. 
Then after I got that all cleaned up and I was doing laundry, of course, because it was Monday, and somehow my toothbrush um, took a nosedive from the shelf that it was on and it went straight into the lint trap hole. You know, like I must have been cleaning the lint trap out and somehow my toothbrush that I used to scrub things went down into that hole. So, oh my gosh. So my husband had to stop doing what he was doing and come and help me fish this thing out because I had a whole dryer full of clothing that needed to be... It was a nightmare, okay? That was... It was just one thing after another. Okay, so on he, on this day here, somebody online on one of the groups was talking about, um, this is Buffy and Jody from the show Family Affair. I used to love watching this show. My husband absolutely hated it. No surprise there, but Creepy Beasley doll, okay? I don't know if I had one. I don't think I had one because I wasn't the type of girl that played with dolls, but my uh, there was a Mrs. Beasley in the house, okay? I know that. So it had to have been my sisters, my younger sisters, because, yeah, I don't do dolls. But I used, and it kind of creeped me out even when I was a kid. But um, anyway, so somebody had mentioned that Family Affairs actually on Prime Video. So I started watching it, and oh my goodness, boy, did it ever take me back. Yeah, so I listed my favorite late 70s, mind you, late 70s favorites. Um, yeah, I used to, like, pray that I would go to or get sick, you know, so I could stay home and lay on the couch and watch The Price is Right and all those other, um, you know, morning shows. So it was rainy and gloomy out. Uh, worked on pages. Oh, this is the day I worked on like a bunch of pages at one time. And washed up the bedding. Okay, yeah, so we, we had um, seafood for dinner. My daughter made a really yummy key lime sauce. Okay, these pages, you probably saw them in a ramble session or something like that. They are not completed, but because of the pictures, this is from a book I found at Salvation Army. It was an illustration book, beautiful images in it. And I put, this week was so busy, okay? So this was supposed to hold Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This was supposed to hold Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I'm sure I have notes in my phone. I made these two into pockets, right? But I never did finish journaling them. Now, sometime during this time, I made one of these envelopes by 49 Dragonflies. I'll put her link below. And yeah, so I made that. So I did that during this time when I had a bit of time. But because of these illustrations, I know that we were house hunting for my son and my daughter. And so that's what these pages are about. I'll probably just write it in somewhere and call it macaroni because I'm not gonna go back and finish these. This right he in here is a picture of a digger, if there's no glare, because there is a lot of road work going on, uh, both in the nurseries around me and um, on the main road. So that's what that's about. And then this here, you guys saw this. I'll put the link below. I think I have a video showing, yeah, Allison's um, from AJ's Inspire Life, her Happy Mail. And this is a lot of the stuff from it. It's, I just, it was so super duper sweet. Sending good vibes, her sweet little card. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's Fred. These things were mine. But everything else on here was hers. And this is the labels that I have that I made. And I just, I found this, I was looking for like a quote for friends because she is such a sweet, dear friend. And I found one universe, nine planets, 204 countries, 809 islands, seven seas, and I had the privilege of meeting you. And Allison, if you're watching, it is such a privilege to know you um, and love you. And then this right here, this was some fabric she sent me, so I made it into a little ruffle. This is a napkin she sent with a beautiful peacock. Little does she know, we actually have peacocks here that roam wild and free. And on this particular day, my husband came in and called us all outside and said, come look, come look. And we went outside and there was like a whole flock um, I don't know what you call like a grouping of peacocks, but there was a whole bunch of peacocks like more than like half a dozen peacocks strutting their stuff right down the street. So that was interesting. 
Okay, so I hadn't taken notes recently and my days are all running together at this point. Yeah, that's a pain. I hate it when that happens, but yeah. So this this tag here, I just used a piece. She had sent me some music text and this and I glued it all on top of a piece of dyed paper and then just made a journaling tag. This is dyed, um, what's it called? Uh, composition book paper. Okay, let's see. All right, this talks about some of the houses that we were seeing. Um, yeah, and then we had a serious kind of talk with uh, my daughter and her boyfriend about their future plans. So that was that. This is also from, um, from Allison, and I just love it. it. I'm guessing it is Japanese, and I could not, I like, I love these images and I love the Japanese characters. They're just so beautiful. And I could have easily cut this all up and done different things with it, but I liked it whole. So I left it that way. Here is another uh, envelope that I made inspired by 49 Dragonflies. But unlike the other one, which was vintagey, this is colorful because I like color. So there's that. In here, I think I'm talking about um, just some private stuff, so we'll leave that private. And then here's some other uh, uh, ephemera that Sweet Allison sent me. So um, this right here is a sticker with a part of a mandala on it, so I know that's from Christy. But all the rest, I believe, is from Allison's. And then I got these just from... Uh, a magazine right and I love this paper and I love this paper so much it's sparkly and I loved it so much I asked her what she used and then I had to go out and purchase what she used so I'll show you she used she's such an enabler but I love her so it's these right here well, for this paper right here, I do believe she used these, sorry for the glare, which is the Recollections um, watercolor crayons. And they have a glittery sheen to them and they're super fun to use. So there's that. And then these are just shimmer paints, shimmer watercolor paints, and they're inexpensive at Michael's, their Artist Loft brand. I love them, okay? I love them. So, Okay, so let's get on with this. Didn't do much. I spent way too much time on the computer. Worked on some pages, filmed some videos, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my sunshine got burned at work. He got burned like on his arm right here on a pipe, but he was fine. He he went to first aid and everything was fine. Um, caught Brookie's live that this evening. This must have been a Thursday. No, it was Wednesday. Why was she on live on Wednesday? Usually she's on live Thursdays. Anywho, that's what I did. Okay. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> Somehow I skipped the page. So I could glue these two together, make a pocket, and put something in. I really don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened. So this was a 17th. Yeah, so I just have these blank pages here. Um, I don't know if I'll do anything with them or not. I have no clue. So anyhow, I'll leave you. I will let, bleh, bleh, I will get my tongue tied or untied first. Yes. I will leave you all here and I will thank you for sharing your time with me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a great week. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.